Well, hello and welcome to Play PKN, the weekly video bulletin of the top news stories on PKN Packaging News, Australia's media hub for the packaging industry. I'm PKN's publisher, Lindy Hewson, and this week's bulletin is brought to you by Ball and Doggett, Australia's largest distributor of printable materials and consumables. Making headlines this week, Coca-Cola Euro-Pacific Partners, CCEP, has pressed go on the most advanced and most sustainable canning line in its network in the Australian region, a project that was two years in the making and delivered in partnership with key technology suppliers, including KHS, Graphics Packaging International and Matthews. The new line, which cost $48 million, is housed at CCEP's production site in Moorabbin and will allow the beverage manufacturer to scale its local can production significantly and increase the flexibility around the packaging configurations it delivers to customers across Victoria, Tasmania and South Australia. At Moorabbin, CCEP fills and packs cans into a range of pack formations, multi-packs, cluster packs and slabs across 37 different beverage varieties. Built for flexibility, with fully automated changeover between formats, the line runs at various speeds depending on can size, the fastest being 1700 cans per minute. Once fully operational, it will have capacity to provide an additional 11 million cases of product to the Victorian market. Beverage packaging specialist KHS was tasked with leading the line integration project in collaboration with the CCEP team. It also supplied the majority of the equipment on the line. Matthews Australasia played a significant role in delivering coding systems capability to meet the high speed and flexibility requirements. When PKN spoke to CCEP project lead David Holden, he said he was excited to see this cutting edge line up and running after a two year timeline and said that delivering this project required tremendous teamwork and collaboration with partners and team members to overcome the constraints placed on them during COVID. For more detail on the story, do head to our website, packagingnews.com.au. Next up, Amcor and ExxonMobil have signed a five-year deal for Amcor to secure thousands of tons of high-performance certified circular material from ExxonMobil's advanced recycling plant. Amcor will purchase certified circular polyethylene material in support of its target to achieve 30% recycled material across its portfolio by 2030. And this move, Global Giant says, will drive progress on advanced recycling materials for a number of markets. The certified circular polyethylene material will be sourced from ExxonMobil's facility in Baytown, Texas, which is currently um, under construction and should be fully operational by the end of the year. Enabled by ExxonMobil's Extend technology for advanced recycling, Amcor intends to leverage this material across its global portfolio with a particular focus on the healthcare and food industries, which are required to meet stringent safety requirements for recycled plastic. Then. In the world of printing, we saw the creation of a new business called QLM Flexibles, which brings together QLM label makers, Luminar and Reed Labels and Packaging, and will be targeting both the digital and FMCG flexible packaging markets under the new brand. The new business will offer flexible packaging, premium labels, folded cartons, and barcode and label printers. It will also look to enter the long run analog flexo market. Still in the world of print, at Curry Group, one of the country's largest graphic art suppliers, a new generation of leaders has stepped into key roles. Marcus Robinson will step up as Director of Operations from his previous role as Service Manager for Australia and New Zealand, while Will Curry will add the role of Product Category Manager finishing to his sales responsibilities in the Sydney region. Colin Edwards, National Sales Manager for Ink and Consumables, will take over the full management of consumables. To the latest news in brands activities, Australian canned water company Wallaby has released a new resealable aluminium bottle to market and has invested half a million dollars in specialized capping equipment to cap the bottles with wide mouth ROPP 38mm aluminium closures. Bundaberg Brew Drinks meanwhile has teamed up with Woolworths to launch an exclusive limited edition retro ginger beer 10 pack for summer with bottles and secondary packaging sporting new design which pays homage to the long-standing history of the iconic Australian brand. Dan Murphy's meanwhile has become the first Australian drinks retailer to offer an image search feature in its app with a label on the packaging acting as an entry scan point for consumers to access the information. 
and premium Tasmanian cherry exporter Reed Fruits will once again, de once again deploy Lava Smart fingerprints for the fourth consecutive cherry season, delivering authentication and connectivity at pack level. And from this month, all new gift packs in Bacardi's portfolio will be 100% plastic free in a shift that will see the company remove almost 275 tons of single use plastic annually. And finally, the 2023 Austra Australasian Packaging Innovation and Design, the PETA Awards, run by the Australian Institute of Packaging, is now open for entries until the 25th of January, with anticipation mounting to see which package packaging designs will win these coveted awards. Also, the applications for the annual Australasian Bioplastic Association Scholarship, ABA Scholarship Programme for Australia and New Zealand, which is also run in partnership with the AIP, is open for entries too. For more details on these and other stories, head on over to the Packaging News website, packagingnews.com.au. Well, that's it from me for this week and indeed for this year as we take a break for the holiday season. Thanks for watching as ever. Stay safe until I see you again in 2023.